Today, I'm going to show you every setting that I use in Counter-Strike 2. Now, this is going to be your guide as to what to use for your resolution, your audio, your keybinds, just all around good stuff. I do have to say that I am not a super obsessed settings nerd. This is not going to be the most in-depth video, but so many of you were asking for it in the comments and I want to provide everything I can for you guys. So I thought this was very important to make. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Most of the stuff we're going to find nowadays is actually not even going to be in the console anymore. Uh, Counter-Strike 2 has made it really accessible to just click the settings menu here and go through everything. So we are going to do just that. Starting with my video and guys, there's no right or wrong. There's a lot of things you're probably going to see in this that might be wrong, but I've made it work. I've gotten 3,700 plus ELO from doing this on face it. It's just what I'm comfortable with. So you can follow or you, do, you don't have to. I don't, I don't care. I'm very happy to see your discussions about all my settings, what you think is good and bad below. Starting here, obviously I have my monitor here. Always we want to run full screen. Don't use full screen windowed, um, windowed, nah, full screen all, all the time. For our aspect ratio, you can use 16 by 9, 16 by 10, 4 by 3. It doesn't matter. Pros play on all three of these. Genuinely, does not matter. You could play on any of these. For me, I like 4 by 3, 1280 by 960. Ultimately, this is just going to feel the best for me. I love the, the way movement looks. I like how people swing me. It's very fast paced. It's very good. Yes, it's going to be blurrier. If you're a new player, I would recommend just playing on native, which is generally going to be 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080. Those of you who have played CS for a long time can agree with me. When you start getting in your head about resolutions, should I play on this? Should I play on that? You're just going to play worse. So this is my advice. I'm going to have to respond to it so many times in the comments. I already know. Choose your resolution. Stick to it. And don't think about it. Don't ask anybody. Don't say anything. Stick to it. You are good because of you. You're not good because of your resolution. Now, for me, I have a 360 hertz monitor. But genuinely, I just run 240 hertz because I don't even get 360 frames with Counter-Strike 2. So I don't care if it's good or bad. That's what I do. It's very consistent. Makes the game run fine for me. I run my brightness on 120%. Guys, I'm going to show you the rest of my settings. But first, I have to show you how to get the best inventory possible. This, I can give you some good tips. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade lock can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, let's move on here. Let's go ahead and go through this. So for advanced video settings, I'm going to speed run a few of these things. I don't know what all of them do. I like to just copy some pro players, see what generally the consensus of what they're doing is. It works for me, so I use it. Boost player contrast, I have this on enabled. V-Sync, disabled. AMD anti-lag, I was playing on it for a while. For me, when I'm streaming, I've had it disabled and I've been really liking it. I set my maximum FPS at 400. That's just what I like. Keeps it consistent, I guess. Menu FPS, whatever, doesn't really matter. I'd recommend capping it though. There's no reason to have it going to like thousand plus. It's useless. For uh, MAAM or multi sampling, I guess I just said, I use um, 4X MSAA, whatever. I like that. You could play on any of these. Pros literally play on like whatever. All these things, like pros play on so many different ones. For global shadow quality, I do play on high. Dynamic shadows, all. Don't put sun only. What, like why? Have that on all. Model texture, I have it on medium, whatever. Um, texture filtering, again, I play on 4X. Pros play on all different ones here. I've played on different ones. Doesn't matter, choose yours and get comfortable on it. Shader detail, I play on low. Particle detail, I play on low. Ambient occlusion, I play on high. High dynamic range, quality, and the super resolution, absolutely disabled. I put that on highest quality. For me, I have to play on that. I can't play on the others. Um, so yeah, that's my advanced video settings. A lot of you are more knowledgeable. You're nerdier about it, but this is what works for me. I don't think about it and I have success. I farm. I win because of it. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to audio. For me, generally, I'm playing at 50%. When I'm making videos, I, I drag it down here. Um, for main menu, whatever, it doesn't matter. Audio device, just make sure you have your headset or in-ears. Um, you're going to be fine. For me, I use natural. I think pros, once again, use a different ones of these, so I don't think it really matters. The LR isolation, whatever, I put that on zero. Um, perspective correction, yes. Um, a lot of these I just haven't even messed with, to be honest with you. I don't really care too much. As long as I can hear footsteps and hear sounds, um, I'm fine. I put no for this because your game's just going to be going off while you're trying to watch YouTube or something. 
um other player voice you could drag this down if they're like screaming in your ear or something that could be something you mess with um definitely push to talk yeah you definitely want push to talk um microphone yeah whatever have that as don't you don't want to hear your own voice that's weird streamline push to talk i'm not actually sure what this is nah i, I wouldn't even mess with that i just put no um and microphone trigger whatever so for your audio here this this can, can really matter if i was going full try hard and trying to win the major you want mvp volume off you don't care about mvp music make sure you can hear the 10 second warning because that matters a lot i don't care what music hit you have have the 10 second music on for something and then the rest of them honestly take them off the only one you really need on is 10 second uh volume and you don't really need that but i do find that it does help um to understand when the bomb's gonna be at 10 seconds or not so um, really good stuff and some of them you can even know like five seconds so it's a, it's an advantage it really is uh for all these i just keep on default whatever uh, we already took care of it so for your game make sure developer console is on um make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have notifications on also shout out to all the members sorry i had to sneak that in there uh the members are goats man so scrolling down here yeah whatever this stuff you can just copy your max ping put 102 it doesn't whatever you need for your games um the lower you make this the the smaller amount of servers you're going to have, the higher, the more servers you're going to have. Uh, for your HUD, th these are my HUD settings. You can copy them. I like my HUD. I'll show you another HUD setting and keyboard and mouse over here. That's more important than this necessarily. Show team ID through wallet. You have to have this on pips, names, health, equipment. You need all of this. You need that info. You need to see what's going on around the map through the walls. And this is so important. It gives you like wall hack for your teammates. For me, I have show colors. Uh, yes, whatever whatever all this stuff doesn't really matter display if, if people are trolling you in your games by pinging and pinging and pinging you can just put display without sound but i, I like this with sound i think it's fine you any team all the stuff whatever um allow animated avatars i actually need to turn this on no so this is good you should have that on no it's distracting when the an animated avatars are flying all around and stuff so put that on no and the rest of this whatever spectator okay don't even really care about this yeah whatever so item, this does matter. Delay sniper rifle on, put that on no. Auto resume, have that on yes, 100%. I have it so that I don't even detach my silencers on my weapons because I, I used to accidentally click it and stuff. So I have it disabled so it can't even happen. Um, for my view model, let me go ahead and show you my view model settings. Um, you're gonna go ahead and type in view model FOB 68. X is 2.5, Y is 2.0, and Z is negative two. I made a video on my view model settings. You can go check that out. Uh, for why I use that, but overall, that's the best view model out there, in my opinion. I'm I'm obviously biased. So, for me, I'm right-handed as well. Uh, at least in game, I like using right-handed mode. It's very nice for me. For first-person tracers, I have them enabled. I like it. It's very good. Uh, I'll show inventory. Yes, of course. We want to see our smokes, our utility, all that good stuff. Um, whatever the rest of this, don't really care. For the radar, I have map is or radar is rotating. Yes, I have. Radar center is the player. Yes. Um, I have all this stuff as you can, you can copy this 0 0.4 for map zoom, HUD size one, op opacity, opaque, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever for radar map alternate, put this on one by the way, cause this will matter later. Uh, scrolling down here, zooming dynamically. Some players have this on. I prefer not to have it, but you could, you could have it on that. That could work for my crosshair. I'll sh share my code with you guys down in the description. I'll make sure you guys have that and then we don't have to worry about it. Um, I don't have dynamic crosshair on. I think that's really bad for damage prediction. No on everything. You don't want that. And then for the telemetry, you can just copy some of the stuff. I don't, I don't really know. Honestly, this is just what I have. I don't know. So don't get mad at me if you don't like it, but that's what it is. So dang guys, we're, we're busting through this. I did not think this video would take so long. Let's go ahead and, and bang it out here at the end here. Reverse mouse is off. Duck mode is on hold. Walk is on hold zoom button hold repeat enabled like we said earlier we we don't want to have to click 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 we want to just be able to hold both mouse sensitivity 2.0 i use 400 dpi so my edpi my actual mouse sense or my actual sensitivity is 800 2.0 in game times 400 dpi 800 made a video on sensitivity as well you should check that out um zoom sensitivity one don't mess with that why doesn't make sense these are my key bindings um, for jump. I have it on scroll wheel as well. So I have it on scroll and space. Mostly you want to use uh, scroll wheel, but space is good for your W tap throws and stuff for smokes, everything like that lineups uh, for weapon keys. E for use. Um, most stuff is pretty normal here. 
I do have mouse swap for next weapon. I still have a bound, but I don't really use it that much. Um, you want to have all your stuff binded on keys. For um, drop weapon, I have G. For inspect weapon, I have F. I do you have O for changing my hand, but it's not really that necessary. Um, primary weapon, one, two, three for that. Secondary, melee. Uh, cycle grenades, you don't want that. You should not be cycling grenades ever. For my bomb, I have it on left alt. HE grenade, now you have to get these binded. If you guys don't, you're trolling yourself. HE grenade, four. Flashbang Q, Smoke Mouse 5, and Molly Mouse 4. I don't have decoy bounded. I guess we could change that now. We could put it on like, put it on this, put it on period. We don't need decoy, but I guess now I'll have it bound. There we go. Um, the rest of this, whatever, for graffiti, doesn't matter. Scoreboard tab. Now this, guys, this is so important. Toggle radar zoom. Have this bound to your keyboard. It's going to make your radar bigger when you toggle it. When you're inside a smoke, so you can see if you're bumping into somebody, it's so useful. Get this bound, guys. Make sure you have your console bound and you are good. Player ping, pool, whatever, all this stuff. You can put it on whatever you like. So yeah, guys, hopefully you learned something new today. Um, I want to shout out all the YouTube members. You guys are incredible. These YouTube members get access to my videos early. They get their own custom role in the Discord and they get personalized shout outs. Thank you to every single one of you guys. I'm hoping to get 15 members by the end of this month. We're at 10 right now. So we'll appreciate that a lot, guys. Uh, let me know down below what you think I should make a video on next. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.